World powers and Iran agree on an agenda for nuclear talks. NASA committee votes yes to criminal sanctions for Haredi draft evaders. And UAE clerics issue a fatwa banning Muslims from settling on Mars. Shalom, welcome to the Jerusalem Post News, our top stories for Thursday, February 20th. Iranian and world power negotiators who've been meeting since Tuesday in Vienna have now agreed on an agenda for negotiations over Tehran's nuclear program. Iranian Deputy Foreign Minister Abbas Arachi told Iran's official Erna news agency the involved parties have now agreed on an agenda and framework for talks which will work towards a final deal intended to end the long-running international standoff over Tehran's nuclear activities. The next round of talks is set to take place in the second half of March again in Vienna. The Knesset Committee for Government Legislation on Haredi Enlistment last night voted in favor of imposing a legal obligation on the Haredim to perform military service. Criminal sanctions for those trying to evade enlistment were also approved, evoking condemnation from the Haredi leadership, which has vowed the Haredi public will again take to the streets in mass protest as they did earlier this month. The question of whether to impose criminal or financial sanctions on Haredi men refusing to enlist has threatened the stability of the government government coalition for months, particularly between the Yeshatid and Bayut Yehudi parties. Yeshatid leader Yair Lapid today praised the bill, saying it will finally heal a wound in the heart of Israeli society. Clerics of the General Authority of Islamic Affairs and Endowment in the United Arab Emirates have reportedly issued a fatwa banning Muslims from settling on Mars. The ruling is believed to be in opposition to the ambitious joint Dutch-American and Canadian venture Mars One, which is working to establish the first human settlement on the Red Planet and to film winning candidates sent to live there for a reality TV show literally out of this world. The clerics reportedly argue it would be dangerous, possibly tantamount to suicide, and hence an act not permitted by Islam. That's it. We're back on Sunday with more main headlines. Until then, Shabbat Shalom from everyone at the Jerusalem Post studio.